Hi everybody, welcome back to another week of EP Kids Digital. Can you believe this is the last week of Riddle Rangers? We've got two riddles left to solve and then we get to see the final message. Mystery Island has been sinking fast, so we are going to have to be extra speedy today if we want to help Zach and Jada solve this mystery before the island sinks into the ocean forever. Before we start though, I have another riddle for you. Check this one out. Gates of pearl and streets of gold, no greater beauty could be could eyes behold all tears all pain all sadness gone the dark of sin has met the dawn paradise with rooms galore life with god forevermore what do you think that that is talking about heaven yeah that's right it's talking about heaven heaven is going to be the most amazing place no tears no sadness no dying streets that are made out of gold but more than anything it's life forever with God. And that is truly amazing. Riddle Rangers to base. Riddle Rangers to base. This is Jada placing an emergency transmission from Mystery Island. We need your help and fast. Things have gone from bad to worse. I think the island is sinking at an ever-increasing speed. In fact, there's hardly any island left. If we don't solve these last riddles soon, the whole island will be gone along with the mystery message. But that's not the worst part. You're not going to believe this, but there are sharks. Big sharks with big teeth. At first there was just one or two, but... Now there's 50 of them circling what's left of the island. It's like they know a meal is coming and I'm afraid that Zack and I are on the menu. We've got to get out of here fast or we're toast. But I don't want to leave before we solve the riddles and see what the mystery message says. So far the riddles have been using the I Ams from the book of John to tell us about Jesus. Let's see if these riddles do the same. I'm sending you the first one right now. See if you can solve it and send us the answer ASAPOWSB. That stands for as soon as possible or we're shark bait. Until then, this is Jada, ending transmission. All right, let's hurry and help Zach and Jada. There are going to be two riddles on the screen. You only need to solve one of them. East Park families, I've emailed you the riddles in case you want to print them out. Pause the video, solve the riddles, and head on back over and let's find out what the answer was. Okay, what did you guys get? John 14, 2? Yes, that's correct. That's a Bible verse. Let's look it up. John 14, verse 2 says, There are many rooms in my father's house. If this were not true, would I have told you that I'm going there? Would I have told you that I would go and prepare a place for you there? That's an interesting verse. Let's send it on over to Zach and Jada. John 14, 2. I've sent it over. Let's check in with Zach and Jada and find out what they have to say about it. Riddle Rangers to base. This is Zach. Bam! You got another one. The riddle is pointing us to John 14, 2. It's all about the many rooms in the Father's house. Professor Covington taught us that the Father's house is a place in heaven. Jesus was telling his disciples that he was going to heaven to prepare a place for them there. I don't think he meant he was going to put on a hard hat and start building a house, although that would be pretty cool. Jesus prepared a place in heaven by dying on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he paid the price for our sins. He prepared a way for us to be forgiven so that when we die, we too can live with God forever in heaven. How cool is that? Boy, I wish I could tell you more, but we're in a bit of a hurry. I'm up to my knees in water. If this island sinks anymore, we'll be transmitting the next message from the belly of a shark. Be on the lookout. I'm sending you the last riddle. Take a crack at it and send it back right away. This is Zach, over and out. Okay, two more riddles up on the screen. Pause the video, solve it, get back with me as fast as you can. Go. Okay, what did you get? I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let me upload that to Zach and Jada. 
I am the way, the truth, and life. No time to waste. Let's check in with them really fast and make sure they haven't sunk. This is Jada transmitting to base. Way to go, we got them all. The last riddle is another one of the I am statements from Jesus. I remember this one. It's from the Bible in John 14, 6. It says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Professor Covington told us about this verse. Jesus prepared a place in heaven, but there's only one way to get there. That way is Jesus. It's not by being good or believing in any other person or religion. It's only by believing in Jesus and following Him that we can spend forever in heaven with God. Oh boy, here we go again. Get ready. We should be able to see the last part of the mystery message. Oh no, we've got trouble. The island is sinking again. We've got to get to the boat now. Hold on. Let me just get a screenshot of the message. Jada, look out! A shark! Whoa! That was a close one. We just barely made it to the boat, but I think I got the screenshot. Let me check. That's it! I got it! The mystery message says, I am the I am. Hey, that's from John 8.58. It's Jesus' ultimate I am statement. You see, I am was a name that God gave himself in the book of Exodus. When Jesus said, I am the I am, he was saying that he is God. Whoa! That blows my mind. Jesus is the only way to God because he is God. Jesus is amazing. Thanks again, kids. There's no way we could have done this without you. If we ever need help again, you'll be the first ones we call. Until then, this is Jada and Zach, the Riddle Rangers, signing off. Wow, that was kind of exciting. I've got a quiz question for you. We heard another I am statement today. What was it? Yeah, it was I am the way, the truth, and the life. If we look in John chapter 14, verse 6, it says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is saying, you know what? I am the only way to get to heaven. I am the only way to have a relationship with God. I'm going to show you guys what I am talking about, about Jesus being the only way. So we've set up a little game outside and I have some boxes and there is some food under the boxes. I don't know what it is because some other people in my family set it up, but I have to take a bite of every single one of the foods that we find under a box. So join me outside and let's see how this goes. Okay, welcome back. Right here, people have put out some foods for me to try. The rule of the game is I have to eat one bite of whatever they have put out here. Starting with box one, moving to two, and then to three. I'm a little bit nervous about this game, to be honest. I'd much rather be having one of you try it, but here goes nothing. Box number one, what will it be? Oh, 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 I hate pickle relish. Like, hate it. Are you serious I have to eat this? Okay. This is gonna be the smallest spoon ever, guys, because I may gag. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Do you know Miss Holly makes pickle ice cream, but I won't be trying it anytime soon. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, box number two, I am hoping for something better. Are you kidding? Mustard? These people know me well. I hate mustard too. I think it is the most, well, it's not quite as disgusting as pickle relish, but it's pretty close. Spoonful of mustard. It's not really, but that's as much as I'm gonna have. Oh, oh that is so gross. Ugh. 
if you love mustard, I don't know about you. Um, we need to talk because that is gross. Okay, last box. Please, please, please be something better. Oh, oh cream. Good, good, good. I'm going to put it on a spoon. Maybe I'm just going to put it in my mouth. Here we go. Mm. That is so much better than the other. Messy, but better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's all over my face. Okay. And that game, there was only one delicious prize. I don't care what any of the rest of you think. In my mind, there was only one delicious prize. The whipped cream. Now, if, if somebody told you that this prize here was delicious to Miss Michelle, would you believe them after seeing my face? I don't think so. What if somebody told you that this mustard was delicious to Miss Michelle? Would you believe them? No, I made a pretty nasty face. I'm pretty sure I really don't want to see the video. There was one thing that was delicious in all these prizes, and that was the whipped cream. And it really was delicious, but this is kind of what John 14, 6 is talking about. You see, some people might tell you that you can get to heaven by following a different religion or a different God. And some people might tell you that you can get to heaven by being a really good person. Or some people might tell you you can get to heaven a whole lot of different ways. Just, just live your life and do lots of different things and you'll get to heaven. But that's not true. The Bible says that Jesus is the one and only way. Just like this was the one and only good food in there. He is the one and only way to get to heaven. And the Bible tells us exactly how we can have a relationship with him. It says that we have to admit that we do wrong things. I don't think that anybody has trouble admitting that because we all have done wrong things. You have to believe that Jesus is who God says he is, that he is God, that he came, that he died, he paid for the wrong things that we do, that he died and that he rose again. And then we have to choose to follow him with the rest of our lives. If we do that, we're part of his forever family. And that is what Jesus came to do. He came to be the way, the truth, and the life so that we can have a relationship with God. All right, see you next time for an all new unit. Bye.